I mean, last Tuesday we have indicated that the new government, and we wait for the new co government composition to understand what really Russians are uh, considering in the short and the long distance. And uh, also we have not forgotten what President Putin has told us. And now uh, under the combination of these two forces statements, uh, we conclude that Russians are really concerned about the aging uh, workforce or the aging problems of the Russian uh, community. And that's why uh, in this week we are going to talk about the uh, Russian population structure and the forecast for the future and how these uh, really aging problems might affect uh, Russia in future. And now also this will also give us a great lens uh, to look at the relations between Russia and Turkey, Russia, US and Russia, Europe and their future also relations. So let's start uh, the aging workforce uh, of Russians are getting uh, really in higher uh, in terms of average and uh, this is going to cause a big problem. So let's start. As you know, uh, Russian product, um, the Russian population uh, uh, is getting uh, less in numbers. Uh, the Russian statistics, or uh, short form, uh, is called Russostatat, uh, has uh, stated that uh, they have projected the best and the medium and the uh, low probability scenarios. And according to that, other than the best scenario, uh, they have taken all the aspects of the economy and the future uh, immigration numbers, the future birth and death rates, and they have discovered that uh, they may go down by 10 to 15 millions uh, down as of today uh, before uh, 2035 to 2040s. This is a great negative uh, effect for Russia, not only in terms of security, but also economy, because they are all related to each other. Now, um, why it is like that? Because of the corruption is one of the main uh, problem. After 1990s, where the, uh, the Soviet regime has dissolved, uh, the economic crisis has started. It was a not an unexpected crisis, but the scale was big. It, it has caused a great stress, on, especially on the youngsters. Today, the youngsters uh, at that moment, like 10 or 5 or 15 years old, as of today, is at 45, 50s now, I see. And, uh, but now we are looking at the today's also the mm, youngsters. And th most of them are unemployed. They don't have a uh, hope for a future because of the corruption of the Russian uh, elites uh, in, the, in, the, in Russia. Uh, they don't. They are not employed. It means that they cannot uh, uh, have a high quality life or expected or an average even uh, quality in their lives. That means that they are really trying to escape uh, in, in marriage, and this is causing the Russian population coming down because they don't want to have a child. They don't get married. They don't want to have a child, and as a result, the the Russian population is coming down. The other problem, and it's a real problem, is after the World War II, uh, there is a, like a 30 years up and side in the Russian uh, lifetime, I will say, in the Russian, uh, I will say, life uh, expense, uh, uh, life period, let's say. And uh, in the Second World War, uh, uh, lots of people have lost their souls. This affects the demographic structure of the Russian people and the uh, country. And now, after especially the 70s, we have seen that there is ups and dips in each 20 to 30 years in the Russian uh, la uh, state. Now, this is going to take place around 2035 20, to 20, uh, 2040s, where the Russian population will come to a dip in between 130 to 35 million, I will say, uh, in a total. Although the working force is, I will say, is getting um, in, in a, almost in a similar uh, pace, I will say, in terms of uh, numbers, and the military numbers is not even decreasing, but they are steady in the same average or even a little bit higher than expected. According to Rusotos, it's going to be even much more higher than expected. Uh, but we, there we see that the numbers are coming down because of the unemployed, uh, the Russian youngsters, they don't want to really uh, make a commitment with, 
with their partners, with their possible wives and husbands and have a child. And uh, this is a great uh, problem for Russia because Russia have, is under a lot of sanctions by uh, the US and the EU administrations. And uh, the most important thing for the Russians are they need some kind of uh, strength to uh, bear against all these sanctions. Uh, however, uh, if the economy is coming down, which means that it's going to create a security problem for Russia, Russia is a very big country. The economy is coming down, it means the technology is going to get old, not in terms of the economy, but also in terms of security. And once these coming to a combination where the security is going to be affected as well as the economy is getting worse, and that's going to leave Russia to uh, threats, uh, especially the external threats. Why external threats? Why uh, also Putin wants to put himself to that position where he will be only concentrated to uh, external threats? Now we can understand. Um, go is an important figure, as we said before, uh, and we believe that he is going to really uh, start an easing program, a uh, monetary ease program in Russia. Why? Because in 2021, and there is going to be an uh, election. And Putin knows that unless he wins the hearts of the, and the minds of the people, he may not be elected. That means Bulashoko has to start very quickly, act very quickly to start easing, the monetary easing it's going to cause uh, in later uh, high inflation as you expected uh, the dollar and the ruble uh, uh, ratio is going to change greatly but uh, it's not something that uh, i mean the russians already decided it should be avoided the most important thing at, at this moment for the russian is that to make putin elected for 2021 and he can survive to 2024 where uh, after that he might be the head of the security like Nazarbayev had done in Kazakhstan and then he will only concentrate to the external threats. Why? We believe because of the aging problems of Russia. The immigration uh, ratios are also quite dramatic for Russians. The people especially from the ex-Soviet countries like Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, um, Kyrgyzstan, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan's the the Russian based people are coming to Russia uh, is getting now diminished is reducing whereas the youngsters especially the, with the high quality educated youngsters are immigrating to Western countries especially to Europe and the United States where the standards of the life standards the quality of the life is much more higher than Russia including the democracy that's why uh, yeah, and also one more important aspect I forgot to say in this year in 2019 the birth ratio is lower than the death ratio that's all these things now coming with the bad economy and all these uh, immigration problems uh, the inwards are now less than the uh, onwards outwards uh, outgoing let's say uh, all these things are really causing a great concern to uh, Russian elites and these are uh, all these should be uh, considered in a one uh, under one, one basket uh, that's why Blashoka has to act quickly he has to inspire the young people I am sure that uh, there will be a lot of opportunities will be uh, given to young people and it has to be and uh, we, because of the, uh, let's say, in, according to Russo stat, uh, in 2035 to 2040s, now we are going to show it to you, and the number between, uh, or the ages between 25 to 35, 40s are getting less than the others, especially with the ones after 40, 40s, 45s. Uh, this is a great problem for Russia. Why? Because the pension funds should be paid by the ones who are going to be working. If it is less than the ones who is going about that, oh, that's a great problem. It means that even the educated people may or may not find great opportunities in Russia. So Russia should be also ready to um, accommodate uh, the foreign employees or the expats to work in Russia uh, if they want to also uh, stay in intact. So we are expecting from today before 2030s that the, there will be a lot of change in the regulations where Russia is going to or try at least attract a lot of foreign investors in futures. 
Also in that regard, uh, most people are thinking that the Russian and the Turkish relations and Turkey is mm, very much kind of giving to Russia. But in the long run, if you think all these negative aspects from the Russian side, whatever they are doing is, going is also going to protect uh, Russia from any kind of threat by Turkey. This is what they are believing. They are trying to build a future with Turkey because they are aware that the Europe is not the real problem in terms of the security, but it might be Turkey for them in future. The number is getting higher, the technology advancement is getting um, really in higher, and Turkey starts to do all these military stuff by itself, at least to some level, if not to high techs, but they are getting there. And in 10 to 15 years, it will be much more even developed. So considering all these things in the long run or medium term, like 10 to 20 years at most, you will, s you will now understand why also Russia needs to establish a good relation with Turkey. They bound to, they need to, in order to uh, a a ensure the security of the, uh, the southern uh, flank of Russia concerning the Black Sea, let's say. So uh, the really the, uh, the the decline that has haunted Russia for uh, decades, we will likely to continue. I will say uh, for another maybe a couple of decades more to come, <laughs> and uh, unless the Russian elites really starts to do something good for their countries. If you like this video, there is a like button underneath the screen. Please uh, press on it. And also, uh, please subscribe to our channel so you will be the first one to hear and uh, watch. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.